Welcome to the United States. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers take the arrival process very seriously. We are responsible for everyone's safety and security. Because security is so important, your immigration status may be subject to further review, or you may have your baggage or personal items inspected. This is a routine process to ensure the integrity of our nation's immigration, customs, and agriculture laws. During every step, you are free to ask questions of any of our officers. So let's get started. CBP wants to get you on your way. Step one, you are now in passport control processing. U.S. citizens, lawful permanent residents, or visitors from another country should select the appropriate line. At select airports, U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents approved for the Global Entry Program can proceed to the automated kiosk for faster processing. You must be pre-approved by CBP for this program. For information on how to enroll, please go to www.globalentry.gov. It is important to have your travel documents in order, including a valid passport. All travelers must have completed a CBP declaration form. All visitors who are not U.S. or Canadian citizens must have completed an I-94 arrival and departure form. Please remember to fill in the address where you will be staying while in the United States, the country where you live, and answer all the questions such as what items you acquired while overseas or gifts you are bringing into the United States. This is important information and could delay your entry into the United States if you have not completed the forms and signed in the correct areas. If you have questions or need assistance, please ask a CBP officer, CBP passenger service manager, or airline representative. Thank you very much. All visitors from a visa waiver country are required to have a travel authorization through the Electronic System for Travel Authorization, or ESTA, prior to your departure to the United States. For more information on how to get your authorization, go to www.cbp.gov forward slash ESTA. Place your documents inside the front cover of your passport with the CBP declaration form. When it is your turn, a CBP officer will call you to the counter to review your documents, perform queries in the computer system, and interview you regarding details of your visit to the United States or your trip abroad. Some of the questions we may ask are... What's the purpose of your trip today? I'm coming for a business conference. And how long will you be in the United States? Be ready to answer questions. Pay close attention to the officer to speed the process. As a visitor, you are required to have your photo and fingerprints taken. Can you take your glasses off for a photo, please? Thank you. You may be asked some additional questions. Where are you coming from right now? From England. If you have anything to declare, including purchases or food products of any kind, make sure to inform the CBP officer. Meats, vegetables, alcohol, tobacco? One bottle of whiskey. Everyone must declare all merchandise to include gifts and food and plant products you are bringing into the United States. This includes U.S. citizens and legal residents who must declare all items they purchased while abroad. Failure to declare these items can result in fines, penalties, and seizure of those items. If you are carrying an I-94 form, take a moment to be sure all of the information is correct and your departure date is clearly marked by a CBP officer. It will be stapled to your passport. Don't lose it. You will need to turn it in when departing the United States. Step number two is baggage claim and a possible secondary inspection. Please follow the signs to the baggage claim carousels. You've traveled a long way, and we know you're tired. So please check your bag's identification tag. Many bags look alike. Now that you have your bags, follow the signs to the exit and the next CBP checkpoint to complete step number two. A CBP officer may ask you to report to the secondary area for further inspection of your baggage. Should you be selected, please proceed to the secondary inspection station. Ma'am, can I have you place your luggage on top of the cast? 
follow the CBP officer's instructions. While some fruits, vegetables, and meat can enter the United States, they must be inspected for insects or diseases that could harm our agriculture. Failing to declare these items can cause delays and result in significant fines. If you have questions about what to declare, be sure to ask a CBP officer. If you have items to declare, present your CBP declaration form and the articles identified for the officer's inspection. If you exceed your personal exemption, you may owe duty. You will be directed to the cashier to pay the amount due. Be sure to get a receipt. Questions? Please ask. Step number three is the final checkpoint. Remember, your CBP declaration form is your ticket to exit the international arrivals area. Now you can proceed to the terminal exit. If you are being met by someone, they will be waiting outside the exit doors. Travelers with connecting flights will need to have their baggage checked and screened by the Transportation Security Administration officers in order to board the next flight. Check the monitors for gate information on your connection. Feel free to ask questions to those standing by to help you make your connecting flight. If this is your final destination, you can get information about ground transportation, hotels, sites to see, and activities in this area at the local information desk in the main terminal. Welcome. Welcome. Swagadam. Willkommen. Bienvenidos a los Estados Unidos. Welcome to the United States. Welcome to the United States.